Hi, in today's lecture, I'm going to show you how to deal and uh, draw your first line in um, the second uh, lecture, actually, of AutoCAD Basics uh, <clears throat> that uh, we, we have uh, actually previously talked about uh, in the lecture one, talked about the interface and what's the, the main component of that interface and how AutoCAD can, uh, you know, what's the purpose of AutoCAD. And in order to start up your first file, you can go here for the application menu and then uh, click New. And in it, uh, we're going to pick uh, AutoCAD ISO here. The second thing to be done is to specify your units. So you have to write units on the keyboard and then hit space after that. In AutoCAD, that's very basic information. Uh, you will notice that uh, you can hit space or enter to, you know, like tell AutoCAD to. Uh, comply or do the the command that you gave and they are basically the same so whatever you think it's better for you here you can specify uh, meter or millimeter or inch uh, let's go for meter for example and we hit ok those two steps by starting in new and AutoCAD ISO and then you specifying the, the you know like uh, the basic uh, units is a really an important thing to be start up with uh, before we go ahead and draw, uh, AutoCAD is giving you the default not, uh, naming, which is drawing one. And if you go here to save as, and uh, I can just go ahead and uh, and pick up with this long uh, paths that I have in here. Just pick up the location where I want to save, and uh, just to specify whatever you want to save. So let's go here. And let's say this is lecture two dash one uh, basic lines so uh, or lines in ortho anyway so that's been specifying the name notes that uh, the extension AutoCAD will deal with is DWG so if you hit save here AutoCAD actually saved this uh, file in the specific location so you go to go ahead and you know keep each five bit uh, hitting the save button and I highly, highly recommend it for you, especially my dear student in the exam, and to go each 15 minute and make save as, you know, like, and then uh, just uh, go ahead and give a new name, like uh, this one, zero 01, and then save it, and then zero 02, and then save it, and so on, and so on. So keep save each five minute and keep save as and give a new or create a new file with uh, a sequence of names each 15 minute to create a sufficient backup that you will need. Now, if you go to the to the location that we just uh, we just have in here what I just created uh, notice that uh, in the video here notes that AutoCAD created actually more than uh, the DWG file that we said it's the main AutoCAD file it's also created the dot back or backup file uh, keep this guide on delete it and it's a uh, uh, it's a good way to give some information to provide some some information here stored in this area as a backup for the original file don't send the backup to the client or to print or something it might have n not really saved all the information that's actually stored in this guy here so that's your main guy here the DWG keep that guy with you for for most of the time and notice that while the AutoCAD is actually still open while the file is still open notes that uh, DWL and DW, DWL2 will be created and when you close this file those will be deleted again those are a temporary file so don't uh, don't mess up with them okay now back to uh, back to AutoCAD I will just uh, make sure to go and uh, you know start up a quick start with you so you can have more confidence before I go in detail with uh, uh, more information about lines and other drawing commands that are available in here so let's uh, let's go ahead with the basic uh, command or the first command actually you might go and need to deal with which is line so in line you either pick it up here from the home tab draw panel just click in here and then you start drawing you know and it's basically you uh, click here and then AutoCAD will tell you to specify the first point and just read whatever AutoCAD telling you here and then move your hand and then just to specify the second point as you can see here near the cursor then it's going to continuously draw you know or ask for the second point as the previous line or the second point of the previous line will be the first point and so on uh, you can end up the command by hit space 
or even escape and then if you hit space again AutoCAD will activate the last command for you which is in this case line so that's the that's a nice trick to know and look now if you wanna you know like close that either go like that way and you know click the endpoint as the uh, the snapping provide you or just hit C space so during the process of creating any line notice that uh, you know there will be here some sub command like undo if you hit undo for example it's gonna cancel the last step or the last line you create or as, as a sub line here or a sub segment here and if you want to hit close it's gonna close it so always keep an eye on what AutoCAD telling you here and near the cursor to you know like get more uh, familiar until you actually get more familiar and you know what AutoCAD is actually expecting from you that's that's basically it that's the first method to draw lines and I do prefer the uh, the, the command method which is just write L you can write the whole thing line, but it's going to be like uh, not a good idea. Just L space, it's going to activate the command using the, uh, you know, the hotkeys or the shortcuts by the keyboard are actually much more faster than, you know, like moving your mouse from the lower left to here while your hand can be just stick with the L space quickly to activate the command as I did just right now. So that's been said, uh, you, you can uh, now just hit control A and then hit delete uh, in your keyboard or the erase button to erase everything you just was you know like sketching here now if you want to draw a line with like more accurate conditions and especially us architects in this basic uh, exercise that we do every day we prefer to go like a very perpendicular line so F8 will be your friend and in here you can see when I hit F8 it goes like a really mess and that's the really, you know, like annoying thing that uh, most of the laptops like mine uh, do when you hit F8. If, if you have just a normal keyboard, if hit F8 will be enough. But if you have one of those new laptops, so if you notice, if when I hit F8, it, it just bring me the slides, the sorry, the side uh, commands for Windows asking me for, a, you know, the option for the, uh, the data show. So I think you need to hit the function button at the lower left of your keyboard and F8 and now the real F8, you know, the real ortho command is activated and uh, it's a toggle, so it's a toggle command, so if you hit it once it's gonna be stay all the time forever until you hit, you know, function and F8 again and of course here you can notice that it's uh, also a shortcut for it so you can on it and off it from here or from F8, whatever you want and, and by this it's actually you're gonna draw a quickly horizontal line and you know when you push your hand down even if it's not really you know like a perpendicular line it's gonna fix it and that's really nice thing to be done as you can see to, uh, to create a, a perpendicular line and that's most of our work as an architects include now again now we have line now we know that uh, we studied a new uh, a way of making a new file and we studied the units command we talked about line and we talked about again uh, ortho now let's have a look of what we can use this uh, couple of commands and in a first exercise a very basic exercise uh, let's go ahead and let's draw this rectangle or actual square 100 by 100 so if I do so when I hit L space again and I click remember that F8 is a toggle command so you press it once and that's it it's still on so remember we needed to draw 100 by 100 so it's a good idea when you click your first point again L space and you click and then you move your hand to the right you 100% going in a zero degree as this uh, angle you know like uh, the number small number need the cursor but put your eyes on the keep your eyes on the blue uh, temporally dimension that is actually increasing and decreasing when I move my mouse it gives you a, a basic indication of what's going to happen or or what's the actual temporary length for that line if you're gonna click it's like a 1800 so probably you can push this scroll in your mouse upward and like you zooming in you know like so now you move your hand to the left I click the pan which is keep pressing continuously on this scroll to get a temporary pan and I zoom in now when I see something you know like closer to the hundred that I wanted to draw uh, I can go ahead and hit hundred in the keyboard and hit space push it down and then 100 then push it to the left and then 100 and then just see space to close that 
So as you can see, it's it's really uh, really an easy way of drawing and quick way of drawing uh, in uh, AutoCAD. And the, the basic key, the basic key to understand uh, the whole drawing process is to understand when you click on the on that point and you want to draw that segment of this rectangle, you need to see to understand what is the suggested length from AutoCAD. It could be like uh, 2 million or 0 0.002 and when you write the 200 it might be too short or too small uh, in order to be seen and that might confuse you and lead to you, uh, you know, like you don't know what to do. Let's let's have a look. Some some of the, some people like, if I delete this, some people like keep, especially with my new student in the very first exam, they keep scrolling down, 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 down and you know, like it's really zooming out like and they don't know what they are doing so when they hit L space and they click and they move their hand they you know like you have a look at what you what te the template dimension is giving you it's like a like like too much digits like two millions or something or more than that so when you come here and say like 10 and hit the space it's look like AutoCAD did not draw anything it's actually did and I see a lot of my students leaving the exam scare out you know because they don't know that they draw and they keep telling me that AutoCAD is you know crashing down the reality is just you need to hit escape twice and you know like here it is it's very small you know like from here to here was two million or two million I don't know like uh, that you can't see it because it's too small so just do double click on the scroll like quickly twice like this you know that's your uh, that's your uh, 10 so that's a that's a really uh, that's a really annoying issue like you have really need to understand it I will I will get this out in a special video to tell you how how you might mess it up you know like and how you fail in AutoCAD actually and that's the first case when you're drawing things too small and the other way around the other student just push the scroll up and new user pushing some of them they don't know what to do and they keep zooming in zooming in and then L space and then click without looking at the suggested dimension it's just 0 0.003 you know like a meter and then he jump and he give one million you know like uh, come on guys when you hit that and you know like you zoom out you can't see the end uh, of that line you just draw you know like it's really annoying so again a quick way just cut the line with double time on escape and then hit twice quickly on your scroll button in the mouse like this and that will make a zoom extend for you now you can see the one million you know like so the second case is you usually need to consider is that the lines are actually too long for the viewport that you have it's a cyberspace so you can draw anything you want in any dimension in any direction so you have to be aware of that so let's go back have L space and let's draw the 200 by 100 square I'll click here the first point I move my hand it's too big again push the scroll up zoom in and then you like keep pressing on the scroll to have your pan and then zoom in again until you see a reasonable, a reasonable dimension, a temporal dimension, 700 is okay. I can go 200 space and then 100 down, then 200, and then close. See, it's really, really an easy way of uh, you know dealing with uh, with AutoCAD. Uh, so uh, the thing you also really need to understand beside line and ortho is how to delete, and I I describe that quickly, but Generally, you can select any line and hit the erase, or you can hit the erase and then, you know, like select the lines you want and hit space, or just simply by select the line and hit delete button. If you want to undo the erasing process, just hit control Z or hit the undo button here. And if you can see the undo have a long list and allow you to get back to the point where you start up the whole thing, the whole document. Uh, that's undo and uh, you can use the shortcut it's U space and the thing like this so if I delete that I can go U space see, to undo what I've done and that's the redo which is control Y which is again just to cancel the act of undo that's in case if you don't know what undo and redo is uh, that's uh, almost it uh, for this uh, lecture I'll try in the next lecture, uh, it's actually uh, the second part of lecture two, so that's it for lecture two, part one. I'm gonna start up in the next lecture in uh, lecture two, dash two, which is the second part of it, to talk more, more about, in more detail about the uh, coordination system and uh, how you deal with the Cartesian system or the polar system. 
Anyway, thank you very much and um, have a good day.